must believe in our hearts. God saved you through faith as an act of kindness. You had nothing to do with it. Being saved is a gift from God. It's not the results of anything you have done. So no one can brag about it. But you must have faith in your heart. The Lord says, when you look for me with all your heart, you will find me. God saved you through faith. Faith is not something you believe in your mind and speak words over yourself out of your mouth. Do not gamble with your salvation. Some people think before they get ready to die, they will just confess Jesus over themselves and God will save them. The word tells us God saved you through faith as an act of kindness. I am not trying to tell you God is not merciful. He can do what he wants when he wants. I am trying to tell you we must do our part. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Confessing with your mouth alone is not enough. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We must have a relationship with Jesus Christ and spend time in the word of God continuously. How can we know him if we don't have a relationship with him? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You are not going to hear the word of God one time and have all the faith you need. We must keep hearing the word over and over and over. Jesus said, Not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied it in your name? Cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice iniquity. Wishful thinking will not get you the things you ask God for. And wishful thinking will not save you. Whatever you want from God, or whatever you want Him to do for you, you must believe in your heart that God is able. And whatever He has promised you, it's yours. People who say they believe don't always believe in their heart. We see in Hebrews chapter 3 and 4, the people Moses led out of Egypt, they heard God's voice and rebel, rebel against him. With them, he was angry for 40 years with those who sinned, whose dead bodies were scattered in the wilderness. God took an oath that they would never enter his rest because of their unbeliefs. They were not able to enter his rest. We must believe in our hearts. Jesus took our place on the cross. He hanged, bled, suffered, died, went to hell for us. God raised him up on the third day. We must believe this or we will never enter God's rest. God promised that we may enter his place of rest still stands. We are afraid that some of you think you won't enter his place of rest. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed do enter that rest 
as he has said. The Lord doesn't see things the way people see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. We must believe in our heart. Jesus is coming. Jesus said, we must always pray and never give up. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Like Ministries. You have a blessed day.